Hey everyone, my name is Andrea Praber and I am with Great Expectations Realty and it is Monday night, which means it's time for What's Up Ocala. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tonight we have a special guest. Very special. <laughs> we have my daughter, Lexi, um, joining us on this evening's show. She has not been on very much lately because she has been so swamped with her schoolwork, but... Yes. Um, I told her she could be a special guest today, so she's going to help me out with all the stuff that's coming up to do here in Ocala, and um, she's actually even going to help me with the real estate and kind of going over what's it like to live here. So, you ready? Yeah. You ready to get started? Okay. I'm extremely ready. <laughs> okay. So, we are going to be talking about some of the stuff that's coming up here this week. Um we have a BJ's Warehouse Club that's coming over to the Villages, which is really exciting. We do not have one anywhere in the county, and technically we still don't because it's just over the county line over into Sumter um, instead of Marion County, but it's basically, it's over by the Lowe's in Lady Lake. So if you're gonna go trucking down to the Villages, then you can actually go to the BJ's Warehouse Club. Um, so those that are living in the southeast side of Marion County are going to have much easier access to that, which is awesome. Um, we still don't have a Costco. Everybody keeps saying you got to go to Costco, but we need a Costco. Yeah, but we've never been to a BJ's or a Costco, mm -hmm. so I guess we just don't know what we're missing. But we do have what do we have here? Sam's Club, right? Yeah, Sam's Club. Sam's Club for the win. <laughs> so you like going to the Sam's Club? Here? I do like the Sam's Club. What's very nice? What do you like about the Sam's Club? Um, well, I have a nice little memory of when I was in elementary school, um, a lot of the time when my dad would pick me up, he would take me to Sam's Club and do his shopping because mm -hmm. he loves a bargain. Oh boy, does he. Um, and he would let me go get like a sundae over there because they have like little, they have like a little stand where they have like hot dogs and pizza and stuff. Yeah. Um, and so he'd like get a big, huge Coke, like one of those fountain drinks, and he'd let me get like a little chocolate well, sundae with chocolate berries stuff. in it. Yeah, it's like a frozen yogurt, right? It is. Yeah, it's, it's very nice. Okay, well, good. So you've got some great core memories of yes. your childhood going to Sam's Club. So Not exactly the place you'd expect child memories. But. <laughs> well, when you grow up with both parents being realtors, you, you can take what you can get, right? Yeah. Okay. All right, so <laughs> let's talk about some of the stuff that's going on. Um, we have the Paso Fino event is coming to the World Equestrian Center, which I actually have some friends, I believe, that are going to be going and doing that. So hopefully I'll be able to go and see that. It just depends. It's been so cold out. I didn't really want to go anywhere. Like it's I went so for a cold. Oh, we don't handle cold down here very well at all. Like mm -hmm. at all. So all of our family up in Michigan and stuff is like, okay, that's pathetic. But it's cold. It's like, very cold. We don't have the clothes for it either. So, um, you know, it's not like I'm going to go out there in a parka or something. I don't even own a parka. I have one leather jacket. That's it. That's, that's, that's yeah. my staple winter clothing. Right? Yeah. It's a very nice, it's a very long leather jacket. Yeah, but even like, dollars. yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> People that come down here and move here, they have all of these crazy amounts of winter clothes. You want to get some inexpensive winter clothes come down here and the thrift stores are like, you can get a full on leather coat. This one goes to her knees and it you got it for five bucks. I got it for five bucks. It's 100% real leather. Yeah. Um, it's very nice condition. I got it for $5. Yeah, you can get a leather coat here. I think mine was like three or $4 and I've had it for, I don't know, three or four years now. Really nice, but we only wear it like maybe four five times out of the year <laughs> at most. So today was one of those days. I had my leather coat. Did yeah. you have your leather coat? I did have my leather coat. Yeah, it was, it was cold. It was really cold. Yeah, like, especially this weekend too. Oh, oh, I didn't go out this weekend. Mm -hmm. We were supposed to go to um, the, mar um, the flea market down on the square. Right. And then we were gonna go to the the matinee over at um, the Ocala Civic Theater. Are they still doing the matinee? They still doing, um, what's the, when are they not doing, what are, what are they doing over there? You well, pull that up. Ocala Civic Theater. This is my little bit that I have. She has all her nuts on my. <laughs> um, uh, well, right now they're continuing their all around the world in 80 days, which you have only a week to go to. So we have to go this weekend. We have to go this week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and it's actually only five actors playing like 30 plus characters. Oh, wow. 
Um, so definitely want to go to that. It's a comedy. It's very nice. Yeah. I've heard. Um, and then they're also hosting Beauty and the Beast auditions um, from mm -hmm. February 8th to February 9th at 7 p.m. I have wanted to see that on stage, but yeah. I'm really kind of more excited about the Around the World in 80 Days because yeah. I'm kind of curious how they did that on a theater stage. Yeah, for sure, so. for sure. So uh, if you're interested in seeing theater or in being in theater, there's something for everybody. Um, I know, I'm a little marketer over here. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to be in theater? No. Are you going to go? No, you could. No, you could go down there. I'm the type of person that loves seeing theater. You like watching? I like watching them. <laughs> okay. And how many times have you gone to the Cal Civic Theater? Oh, so many. So many? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember any of the shows we've gone to? <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't remember. We went, what was the last one we went to? Mamma Mia, probably. Yeah, Mamma Mia. Yeah, it's any, a good one. anytime I get a chance to see like a show or something, even when we were on the cruise, it was like one after another. It's just yeah. nice theater. Yeah, there's a whole lot of shows that you can go on that. So, but yeah, so um, we've got to go down. And this week, mm -hmm. if I want to see um, Around the World in 80 Days, i got to go this week. So. Yeah, it ends at February 6th. So, last one. Ooh, so this weekend. Okay. So we've got the Pasifino event. Um, what's really hard is on Friday... This Friday is when the um, the horses. Oh my goodness! Not at the World Equestrian Center, <laughs> but over at uh, the Oca the Florida Horse Park. Um, that is the Grand View Invitational, mm -hmm. and David and I, your dad and I. I don't know. It's weird not saying yeah. like, say that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but he, we've got tickets to go, which um, we're kind of excited. It's probably going to be a whole day event. Hopefully. The weather will cooperate. Hopefully. So, yeah. It sounds fun. Very fancy, it sounds. Yeah. It, it should be. Well, we got VIP tickets. <gasps> I know. We, we splurged. He doesn't know we splurged yet, but we splurged. So, <laughs> so yeah. We do have the Ocala Farmer's Market this uh, this Saturday. It's every Saturday, 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. So, that's cool. Um, and then we've got... Now, they've got something called Food Truck Friday over at Circle Square Commons, which oh, is... I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I love me a food truck. I'm not lying. <laughs> yes, you <does. laughs> yes, It's cool because, you know, there's like a variation that you don't normally get to. Okay, it's basically all about the food, honestly. I mean, seriously. That's what I had it. That's the food. <laughs> it really is. So, they've got Food Truck Friday, and that's actually not far from our house. So, that's Friday the 4th from 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. And I'm kind of curious to see what trucks are out there. Um, but yeah, Friday, I am going to be at the Grandview Invitational pretty much all day. So I will get lots of video for YouTube and, um, show all of that that's going on get some TikToks going on. Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So they also have gnome painting. I've never painted a gnome before, but apparently you can do that at painting with a twist. Which I know we keep saying we're going to go to. We you just don't have the go. twist. Yeah, I know. I haven't been there yet. I'm under 21, so I can't do the twists. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, painting with the twist, for those of you that don't know, it's uh, basically you go there and you do a full paint. They give you all the supplies and everything, and you can bring your own wine yes. or whatever. Um, so, you could do, like, you know, soda or something. Yeah. So, yeah. It's in Florida, it's soda, just to let you guys know. Um, <laughs> don't want to hear any of that pop. Yeah, we went. We went to um, my sister in law's house in I remember this. <laughs> Wisconsin. So my husband's brother's wife. Anyway, and she looked at Lexi. I think you were like maybe seven or eight. I don't know. She looked at Sexy and was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> she looked at what? She looked at Lexi. I was trying to say soda. Anyway, she looked at Lexi. <laughs> I hope I can edit that out. Wow. <laughs> My daughter is 13, still. just so you guys know. Okay, like, no. Yeah. Anyway, she, you're not legally allowed to be. Yeah, I don't want to see any of that. I no. That. Absolutely not. But she looked at Lexi and mm. said, um, uh, do you want to pop? And Lexi instantly thought that she was going to hit her. Like, she did something wrong or something. Like, yeah. why would you pop me? Like, no, I was, and you can tell this is like a core memory. I still remember it. I was like... <laughs> What? Oh, what? Oh, what? And then she comes up, Lexi comes up to me and she's like, Mom, I think she's mad at me. <laughs> I was like, was what so exactly? We had just gotten there. So I was like, how could she be mad at you? She doesn't even know you yet. Give it time. Um, she says, well, <laughs> she says, well, 
Um, she at, and then she repeated back to, and I was like, no, she meant a soda. And she's like, well, why didn't she say a soda? I'm like, up here, it's called a pop. And she's like, so okay. <laughs> she chose violence. No, for real. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Appleton Museum is, I've uh, got open art at Appleton. It's, um, Saturday the 5th from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. I don't think they're charging actually. So that's so. kind of cool. Yeah. All right. There is also an anime festival. Oh, very interesting. Now, see, she has a very interesting look on her face right now. Yeah. But... So that is not this weekend. It's next weekend. So it is Saturday and Sunday, the 12th and 13th from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. So it's a two-day event, and it's at the World Equestrian Center. Wow. Yeah. They scored with that one. You think so? Mm -hmm. You think there's going to be a lot of people there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's see. And then they've got live entertainment at Smokin' Torpedoes. I've never been to Smokin' Torpedoes, but they have live event there. Um, that's at Circle Square Commons. That's Friday the 11th from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Now, two other events that I'm really kind of excited about. I saw those in the paper, and I was really wanting to share, share that. Over at the um, dog park, it's the Letty Towels Dog Park, which is a terrible name, but it's named after somebody, so I'm not going to say anything. But anyway, it's over at Jervy Gant. Jervy Gant is like this huge park, and then it has like parks within the park. It's massive. Anyway, so they have this big dog park there. And on Saturday, February 19th, so not this weekend, not the next weekend, anyway, Saturday, February 19th, they are having a pause ice cream social. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you can bring your pet um, to the dog park and they will get a Jeremiah's Italian ice. And so it's a free frozen treat for your dog. I personally would love, it's to kind of like, you know, socialize, not just the pets, but also, you know, the pet owners. The humans. The humans. So, <laughs> so you could go down there and, um, you know, bring your pet and they can have their frozen treat and you get to know each other. I would love to see just all the dogs. I Imagine. think there's going to be a whole slew. So, They're all yeah. just feasting on the little, the little ice cream. Their little cups. So yeah. So that's 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. Saturday, February 19th. And then this last one is the YPO, which is the Young Professional, like Young Professional of Ocala, is hosting uh, its monthly social networking event in downtown Ocala. Um, and it's this week, Wednesday, February 2nd, from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. at the Keep downtown. And anybody that's there for that event will get 10% off, which is great. Um, but it's basically an avenue for young professionals to socialize. And I am happy to say, that I am still considered a young professional. Wow. <laughs> All right, you don't have to sound so excited <laughs> about that. <laughs> hey, I TikTok, okay? I'm relevant. <laughs> Maybe not. So <laughs> Pain. Pain is what I feel. <laughs> My kids tease me too much. Um, but yeah, it's up until the age group is up until 45. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I can make you walk home. Oh my god. <laughs> um, and this week, our restaurant of the week is the Hungry Bear, which I have mm. not gone to yet. Um, it's at 420 Southeast Osceola Avenue, and they serve burgers and shakes. And I have heard of it, but I've not been there yet. So we're going to try and make um, every opportunity to go there this week. Um, that is our restaurant of the week to showcase. Now, what you guys have all been waiting for, or if you feel the desire, you can leave now, but I do have to talk about real estate because this is a real estate, actual podcast, YouTube, whatever. So in today's market watch, which as you know, we check every win or every Monday. Sorry. I don't even know what day it is anymore. No. It's just crazy in here. Neither. Um, but I will have to say that real estate has definitely picked up this week. Um, it was absolutely insane this week. I worked some mm. crazy weird hours. Match for that. <laughs> I can't match so, um, so yeah, it was uh, it was a little insane. Um, it, it was kind of quiet the first week or two of January, and then it slowly picked up, and now it's just it's it's Oof. crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Um, so basically. We have a lot of people that have finally gotten the memo that the interest rates are going up and they're purchasing houses now. So 
Um, if you were worried that you missed your opportunity to purchase a home at a low price and a low interest rate, you're right. Um, <laughs> Sorry, it's true. Uh, but come on, you guys had fair warning. I've been talking about this for like two years now, so can't say you weren't warned. Um, but but it's still a reasonable rate. Yes. Okay. So, and the house prices in comparison to other places such as Orlando or Tampa, which are um, very close by, but much bigger metro areas, those prices are still, you know, crazy expensive. They're very red hot markets. Um, ours is going up daily, literally daily. daily. So, but things are jumping off the shelves right now. We are definitely in a rush for houses because again, I think people are still trying to take advantage of those lower house prices along with the lower interest rates because they have definitely been ticking up and they are going to continue to rise. So right now, as of today for new listings, you want to go ahead and read these off? All right, new listing, 57. I don't know what these numbers mean. But yeah. <laughs> okay, so real. new houses or new new properties. So it could be vacant lots, commercial, or rentals. We had 57 total that hit the market in the last 24 hours. Oh, so houses. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> uh, for houses that had their price increase, it's 36 houses. Woof. Uh, for houses that had their price decreased, it's 13 houses, so it's not a good ratio. No, that means house prices are going up yes. across the board. Mm. Okay. All right, and then back on the market, houses, are, we have 15 of those. Okay. Back on the market. Um, 60 have sold, so they closed. Today. Yeah. Yep. No. Uh, five have expired. Mm -hmm. That happens a lot at the end of the month. Yeah. So five houses in total, you know, expiring today, that's still not very much. It used to be, you know, we'd have like 50 or 60. Now it's like, I'm not even going to send out letters. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, four have leased okay. and 88 pending. Uh, Ouch. Uh, it's a very busy weekend for a lot of realtors out there. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't just us. It was definitely not us. So um, canceled. We have 10. Yeah, so 10, we're like, um, this market is insane. I'm just going to hang out here and we'll see what happens around the bend. Um, or they really didn't like the realtors and fired them. There's that. There's yeah. definitely that. <laughs> it happens. It happens. Um, if you are a realtor and you've not been fired or you haven't fired a client, you are new. Uh, it just, it does happen. Stuff That's happens out there. Yeah. So for us, we don't have a cancellation uh, fee in our contracts because I figure any of my agents or myself um, that get fired is probably because they deserve it. And um, the, the buyer, excuse me, the seller shouldn't be held into a cancellation fee because of that. Once in a while, it's because of um, the seller is a little strange. It has some strange <laughs> ideas and we just are not it's go. It's just it's not working out there. Um, in which case you probably don't want to go through with that contract anyway. So yeah. Um, either way, we have a no cancellation policy. So if you are looking to sell your home, please call us because we have so many people that are looking to buy and we want to be able to help them. Mostly we've been talking about new construction because that's what mostly is out there right now. Um, a lot of new construction homes. You so see. many. Yeah. Like, you, just, you go through the neighborhood and there's just so many houses either being built or like finished being built and they're just so new. Oh, it's a lot of new homes out there. Homes. Yeah, our neighborhood, just our block alone has changed considerably the last year or two, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it used to be mostly trees. Now it's mostly houses. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's it for tonight, unless there's something you'd like to add. Um, I don't think so. Okay. So. What did you think of your first podcast? Oh, man. It's a new experience. It's a new experience. I hope any of the OGs on, you know, YouTube remember me. You know, a few of you, perhaps. Perhaps. Wow. I don't know what an OG is. I've seen oh, that before. It, it's like people that are, like, really, really, from, like, people... That were, like, the originals. the originals. The originals. The originals. Okay. OGs. Originals. Okay. I'm showing my age. All right. It's okay. So she's going to help me. She's going to help me stay relevant even when I'm like 60, right? Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah, sure. Going? I'm going to stay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay. I'll be in the young people. If I join the young professionals of Ocala now, <laughs> do they kick me out when I hit 45, do you think? I would think so. 
Mm. All right. Well, at what point do they, you know, you've gone out to gosh, or I Get have out. a plan. <laughs> Get out. The door's over there. I don't think they do. I think they let you just, your grandfathered in, literally. Yeah. So. Yeah. People look down on you. Oh, you're 46 she's like, oh. in here. She's an OG, so she gets to say. Yeah. That's how that works. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, you guys have a great night. Hopefully you enjoyed our podcast and our YouTube channel today. And please click the subscribe button. Uh, we try to give you relevant content. We try to educate as well as entertain. So if it's been at all helpful or if you think it will be helpful to somebody else, please go ahead and share or subscribe. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.